Hey there everybody, Magnum Knight's back with some more Fallout 4. Today we're gonna make it. Today we are not going to get sidetracked. Today we are getting to Diamond City. Now I've modded out the LMG I found a little bit from last thing. I've got one of these wonderful reflex sights on it. <laughs> oh man. Gotta love pipe rifle technology. Anyway, we're making our way to Diamond City. We're not gonna get sidetracked. We're not going to go looting random buildings that have death claws in them, like uh, that other horrible incident and uh, Kendall Hospital. And as you can hear, there's a turret just continually firing way off in the background that's going to be there from now till the end of time. Some kind of audio glitch. Don't know what's up with it. What do we have here? Seems cool, he's just gonna chill. We got purified water inside the city. Let's get the combat. Okay, so that's what that symbol is. That's Diamond City. Straight ahead up this road. Okay. Protected by the wall. Alright, Diamond City, here we come. Why is there a big water drop here? A little turret. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Lucky you're near the Great Green Jewel. Aren't we, though? Sewer entrance. Okay. That's what that is. But we're gonna get our way to Diamond City. Lots of turrets, lots of boys. And an enclave I bought. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop running around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got all See those big lights? I heard. Right. Sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate. Gate right now. You seem kind of mean. You want into Diamond City, right? Sure. What? Who are you? Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better Win. get inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? 
What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you uh, Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there Win. is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. I like you, Piper. You seem interesting. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Sure. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No problem. <laughs> well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Anyway, Why, welcome thank you. to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Sorry, Danny. I <laughs> just Question? policed you, buddy. You talk to Solomon. All right, let's check out Diamond City. Yep. I've got five cores up and ready for my uh, suit, but really, you move so slow in the damn stuff. Oh, here we go. Some more story here. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Maybe I could fix this thing. Huh. Power drill supplies. This is actually really hard for me to read. That is a lot of pages. I'm not going to sit here and read all that. Sorry, Piper. Newcomers, if the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Um, thanks. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Alright. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. 
and they'll grab you too. Like Truth I said, out there. it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. Mayor's secretary, come on. Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. I'll think about it. Feel free to come back anytime. All right, haircut. What's Hi. up, Kathy? You there. Talk some sense into my netwit son. Madonna's secretary, is she a sent? What? Hmm? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes? Looks and acts just like the real thing? Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does. All perky. So she's a synth, right? <laughs> she has to be. Oh, jealousy. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh my god, really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the <laughs> ones who kidnap people, replace them with sense? Not that McDonough would ever admit it. Paper's right about him. Are you gonna answer my question? Geneva, is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said no one could tell the difference, Ma. She don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Yeah, maybe we shave off all your hair. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Unless that's what you want, of course. Customers always right. I'll think about it. Sure, whenever. All right, what else we got here? Doctor. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. No, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. Woohoo, stim packs. Septic glass. Short syringer rifle. It's kind of interesting. i going to take that. Finally found a use for all these caps I've been collecting. Chemicare cares about you. All your medicinal Ammo needs. for the syringer at chemistry stations. Okay, I don't have any of my stuff with me right now. I left all that back in uh, Sanctuary. Interesting. Okay. That that there could get really fun. If you're here to be examined. Tell me a joke. Yes. Ah, he makes noodles. That is incredibly somewhat racist. They have Takanashi Bot, the maker of noodles. Weapons, you say? We 
got small arms, long arms, and ammunition. You? Surplus. I don't know you. Just keep your distance. One statue of Diana impression coming up. Good. Good. Now just answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. <laughs> we can do business, but no funny stuff. All right, Let's what do you got? what you got. Here's what we got. You've got ammo. Five millimeter ammo. Must have. Ten millimeter ammo. Also must have. 308 rounds. Thank you. Duct tape is always useful. Adhesive. Gamma rounds. What do you fit in it? Missiles. Pulse nade. Short combat shoddy. Oh, that does sound good. It's a little pricey. Want to shop around a little bit more before we really start committing to things. She's got a lot of stim packs too. <laughs> Russian hat. Alright, what kind of guns hey, you got, buddy? You're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I think I like this guy. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Is that a mini nuke launcher? I do not have enough for it. Flame or fuel. More of these gamma rounds. Light sniper. More missiles. Bolt Faithful. Does double damage to the target that's at full health. It is a sneak energy pistol that is going to one hit everything. But still can't afford it. Power armor frame. Is that a schematic? So I can actually build the workshop for a power armor frame? It's expensive. Scatter. That's a Chinese sword. I need my sword. Short combat shoddy again. Oh, that's badass. Spiked boxing glove. Alright, so we have the melee weapon I'll be using. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a Nuka Cola. Hey, right, Sheffield. Buddy. Cola. Nuka Cola. Drink some water. Nuka Cola. So thirsty. <laughs> all right. All right. Here you go, here buddy. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. You gonna be cool? Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... 
You mean it? Just don't turn into some damn Nuka Cola hoarder. Okay. I'm gonna send you to uh, Starlight Drive In. I won't. I mean, I might take a few bottles with me, but that's all. All right. Settler recruited. Nice. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Um. Got any work? Well, if you wanna help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I think so, friend. I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? Sounds good, but more money. 100 caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your mugs. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Please, you own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. <clears throat> All right. 150 caps for each piece. You better be worth it. Deal? I am. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. I'm not gonna try the red. Baseball, thank you. Hey, Doug, me. Uh, detective. This must be the guy. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone like that? So they got some food in here. I've got lots of food growing already. But that's a good place to uh, pick up some starter fruit, I guess, for your settlements to get more food growing. Uh, detective, I guess it's farther down this way. Uh, oh, these are the back way in. In case you want to go steely steely. Valentine Detective Agencies. Oh, this has the feel of like the horrible, gritty, like gumshoe novel type detective agency. I really hope it does. Yes, it does. It's got the dame out front. His ties. Oh, Nick. It's oh, is he missing? What's Something up? Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. It is There's an the, old ball the down gumshoe there novel a type deal. I am so into this. I love into a those trap, things. But he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. Good enough. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The hat, the trench. It's everything I could have hoped for. Let's go save the detective. And I am hardcore stealing all your ammo. Don't mind me, friends. Um, I'm hardcore steel in your suit. I really want to wear the suit while I'm in Diamond City here. I don't think I'll need armor. But I'm not sure. Because I really want to fit the role of the detective. So bad. 
All right, let's find him. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Oh, Diamond City's actually pretty big. We'll check that out later. We're on story missions hey, today. Hey, in the old theater district that's paraders only. Combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Really? Thank you for that update, officer. I believe you eat that food. <laughs> only one thing worth well, buying in the beautiful. dugout in, and that's the booze. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real diamond. What's up, Polly? I guess you sell food. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Now, we gotta get in on this. Put the gun down, now! He's a Sim! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. You, you hear me? You folks My own brother. Damn paranoia. Okay, we gotta be sarcastic. Hey, who hasn't engaged in a little friendly attempted fratricide in their life? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told them. I, I kept telling them. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Hey. My God. I need you to step away, Scout. Hey, Myrna. The synth is dead, right? That's what happened? Yes. That's exactly what happened. Oh, there's a power armor stand here. That's good. Home plate. Don't have the key. Alright, so I can get a uh, home in Diamond City. I guess that's why it's got a uh, power armor stand down for it. All right. Let's pull up the old data thing here. No, we're not talking to Preston. Get out of here. Find Nick Valentine. We can clear this marker now. Mr. Valentine, where are you hiding? I worked so hard to get into Diamond City and now I have to leave. Or was that just one section of the city? That's actually a pretty cool design for the Gatling laser. Just through the gate and up the stairs. Okay. Like we're back out into the world. The fuck you just call me? All right, I'm gonna call this an episode. This is Magnum Knight saying, "See you guys in the next one, where we go find Nick Valentine and you know listen to that horrible turret some more." Later, everyone.